Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plannerista 101. Today we're going to be creating a spread in my catch-all planner for the week of September 2nd through um, the 8th. And this planner is called Moody Florals. I am going to be doing something slightly different today. I have printed a weekly um, kit and I'm gonna try to use a kit in this planner and see how it turns out and see how I like it. So here are the pages that come in this kit. It is lavender. I still am very much into the whole summer thing. So <laughs> I'm gonna be creating a summer spread full of lavender. So bear with me as I do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the names of the week first and then we're gonna date it. But yeah, this um, kit is kind of interesting because look how when you place it, the florals actually match and like overlap and finish each other. So I thought that is such a pretty kit and I couldn't help myself. So it is from Etsy. Um, it's an older one that I had and I finally decided to give it a try. I have so many um, stickers that I've purchased to print and I have not done so yet as they are a lot of work you guys I don't know if you print your own stickers but um, if you have to overlay every single one of them with the white it's actually quite a task oh my gosh I'm ripping I'm ripping this sticker okay I got it I got it off Okay, Saturday and then Sunday and we can start placing all the other stuff. So super, super lovely. Like I said, I am so in love with the colors of this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go and start placing all the stuff I need. Um, so let's get going. If this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. I hope you like it here. If you have been here before and you're joining me yet again and spending more time with me, thank you so much. I appreciate you for being here. So yeah, first thing, some washi, because why not? I love, I love washi strips. And I did print another page of the washies just in case. Um, since I like to have the same washi on both sides to kind of balance out the spreads. And since this is a printable, I was able to print those pages twice. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut it really quickly. You guys, I love these little pens. They hold like a pen and they have a tiny little um, scalpel or blade on them. So, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly date it by hand. I want this goldish brown color in here, so <laughs> we shall see how that turns out. Uh, my handwriting is what it is. It's not the worst, but it's not the best, so I'm just gonna go with it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add now some boxes and stuff and we'll go from there. I wanna start with the de decorative boxes and kind of spread them out as I see them fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this lavender right there. It says lavender farm, it is so lovely. And then I want this other one that is almost like a a little window of view and then this girl sitting as you guys know I love girls in my planner it's my thing I'm gonna add this lavender cart as well I think that is beautiful so I'm just gonna play with these until I kind of um, fill in the spread but yeah I want to see if I can work with a spread as full as one of these kits so we shall see but yeah so far so good 
I really like these stickers. I like that these boxes, some of them have like a shadow of an image in them. And I do like that a lot actually. So we'll be adding that. And this kit is so large that I probably won't even use half of it, but we shall see. I did use a lot of the decorative elements and I followed the instructions on the printing and it seems like the size of the boxes for the Happy Planner Classics are perfect. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. I wasn't sure how the boxes are going to go, but yeah, because this is my first time using a kit, I'm kind of staying in lines and not going too crazy with um, creating clusters and stuff as I want a pretty full two pages of stuff. So a box on every day, so I need a couple more boxes. And then, yeah, let's see. And then I can um, start adding the little things that are in this kit. Let me know if you guys use kits in your planner. And if you do, I know that Erin Condren users are pretty big on weekly kits like this. So I wanted to see how that would work in here. But if you do use them, let me know and let me know if there's a brand that you guys prefer and whether you print your own or whether you um, get a physical stickers sent to you. So let me know. I'm very, very curious. So yeah, I'll keep adding. This is just a work schedule. So I typically have boxes to keep um work schedule and of course on the second it's labor day i'm just gonna put labor day instead of there in that box and that will work and that is crooked so let's go ahead and peel it up and replace it so i typically use sticker paper that is repositionable since i am the queen of the crooked sticker you guys so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add a hydration sticker right here just to make sure that I stay hydrated. Um, that is a big fail of mine and I know a lot of you have said that it's a pretty big fail for you guys as well. So, Okay, I'm going to add these to-do boxes instead of drawing the circles that I typically do. We're going to go ahead and try these boxes and see how it goes. They are pretty pastel -y, which I like, so my to-do list will stand out. And yes, I made it crooked yet again. Big surprise, right? Okay, still crooked. <laughs> Try number three. Maybe the third time is the charm. Or maybe the fourth time is the charm for this one. I don't know. We shall see. I am now determined not to give up on this. By the time I'm done, it probably won't even be sticky anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see. Much better. Yeah, I like that. And I, yeah. So like I said, I am st staying within the lines of the columns. So we shall see how that goes. I do need another to-do list. So we're going to place one right here. Yeah, Friday needs a big one for sure. And then let's see if I can add a smaller one on Thursday and Tuesday. Those are my two very busy work days typically. So I'm going to see if I can keep it a little bit shorter. Oh my gosh, it is crooked. I'm just going to leave it, you guys, because we'll never finish this. This is probably already much longer than my typical one because, like I said, I usually don't struggle with stickers. That's not something that I have issues with. Um, my spreads are usually very quick, so... But with this kit, this is something new, and I'm trying to explore and see if... Um, I can make it as full as possible. Okay, so I'm going to add two boxes to the sidebar. One will be to buy, one will be to clean. 
so we'll have a semi schedule in there for my cleaning and then I need a box for Saturday and for Thursday so for Thursday we'll add like a half a box like I said it is a busy day at work for me so when I get home it probably won't be as productive as it is on other days and then Saturday we have a family thing so I am not going to be able to get as much done as I would like to typically and yeah so let's go ahead and now add more stuff because why not right let me know what you guys think about this kit like I said I am so happy I have printed this this makes me smile quite a bit it is beautiful And I'm going to add more little things to it. So I'm just pulling a couple things off. There's these boxes with like pet paws on them. And how can I not add that? You guys already know my full obsession with Toa. So um, but I also need headers. So we're going to do today and to do and stuff like that. Um, they do not alternate colors. So I'm going to have to kind of work with this as it is. So to do is yellow. Today is that lavender color. So there is not much alternation here. And I did pull to buy and to clean. So we're going to go ahead and add those. And those will be extremely full, you guys. Look at that. There we go. So I add today on Sunday and then to do right there okay so some headers are in this is already a lot more busy than my typical spread um let me know if you guys like this I know it's kind of strange so I'm gonna add a few more boxes in here uh I do like to put in all the stuff that I need to do like appointments or bigger things like if my dog is in daycare um in a bigger box so i can follow okay and then let's see how about we add more little things like uh wednesday is trash day so i'm gonna add that Actually, I don't even know if trash day is Wednesday since it's the holiday on Monday, but we shall see. And then I need to pick up groceries on Tuesday. And then laundry on Friday. So yeah, lots of fun things. Let's go ahead and add a couple more little... little stuff I don't know like I said this um, this kit is huge you guys so I don't even know I'm so lost do you guys pre-plan or once you create a weekly spread a couple times with those kits like you know what's going to fit and what isn't going to fit let me know because I'm really really curious to see how you guys do this and how it works for you since everybody is so different okay i'm gonna add a couple more half pages in here like so Those are so pretty. I love having lavender in my house and in my planner apparently because I just keep smiling to myself. Okay, we're gonna add this beautiful like window of lavender into lavender fields. And then I do wanna add something to Saturday, maybe like a half a box like this. Yeah, that could work. And then 
Sunday. I still have that gap that I don't necessarily like. So let's see if I can add something little in there. I don't know. I am so lost, you guys. So lost. But these things, I think as I fill them out too, I can add more things. Like those icons and stuff, depending on how I do. But I can add maybe like this week or something like that to my spread and see how this goes. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna call this pretty much done. Oh my gosh, I can't seem to put this straight. But yeah, this is all for this week. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is a long one for me. Like I said, typically it doesn't take me this long to create a spread, but this was a fun one. Even though I struggle, struggled a whole bunch. I hope you guys had fun too. And let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.